It's Melanie again, Melanie Hines from Maine. I'm your faith and financial ninja. Uh, I do daily lives in the morning. If you want to get more details or get in the chat and ask a question, you have to be subscribed uh, for at least 20 minutes prior to the daily lives. Tomorrow's live, just so you know, should be around 9 a.m., no later, because I have an appointment early and then I have a funeral in the afternoon. So keep me in your prayers tomorrow. And I do have a lot of appointments into the evening tomorrow. So I'm booked this week, guys. If I didn't get to you, it's because I'm booked, right? So, and if you're sending me emails now and requesting appointments, they're going to be into next week. And so I'll get, I'll get to you as I can, but don't freak out if you haven't heard back from me yet, because I was pretty busy today. Now, this is the, uh, quick update on the Iraqi dinar revaluation and the situation where we find ourselves in. And this has Mark and it has Mountain Goat. And then it also has, uh, I don't remember who, Frank, 26, and Bruce is on tonight, so his updates will be tomorrow. So, um, I like to bring you summary. I hope you like them. Please comment down below. I try to do them very quickly. We got swordfish on the grill from the from the plant seafood here in Maine, so I, I don't have a lot of time, so this will be quick. And let, what are you having for dinner? We're having swordfish salad and some little potato uh, tater tots, right? So, I hope you're having a good dinner. Um, so here we go. Dinar Land Update by Mark Z, Nader from the Middle East, and Mountain Goat, and Frank26. So this is all of them. It says, this is like what I said in last night's, Trade Bank of Iraq, foreign transfers can now be made through our branches through the central bank. They can now make foreign transfers to all countries of the world through the accounts opened in Iraqi dinars. Woohoo! The enormity of this means they are fully 100% international. This is one of the key things we've been waiting for. Also in the news, the boots on the ground are reporting that the budget as we speak is being read and discussed in Parliament for its third reading. Um, enormous news from Iraq right now. I believe it's all done and we are just waiting for the countdown to finish now. This is awesome news to start the day or to end the day, as the case may be, whenever you're watching this. Nader from the Mideast, the financial advisor confirmed as of Tuesday that foreign currency reserves are high, safe, and at comfortable levels, which are the highest in the country's financial history, which are not less than, which are not less than balances between 110 to $115 billion. A uh, very good article. The guy is the advisor of the prime minister, Sudani. Anything he says is true and it will happen a couple days later. I love this guy. I've been following him a lot. He's the only guy I believe in all this mess. That was Nader. And this is Mountain Goat. I have talked about the CBI 2011 plan many times already. We are literally witnessing the execution of this plan right now in front of our noses. So where are we in the 2011 plan? How close are we? We are very close. We could see the reinstatement before June or shortly afterwards. The next phase of the plan is to change the nominal rate inside of Iraq and issue the lower denoms on coins. I believe we will be around the $1.50 dinar to the dollar. $1.50 dinar to the dollar. 1.50 to 1.00. Okay, just making sure I state that correctly. Iraq boots on the ground from Firefly. This is Frank 26's group. Firefly, they just came on Iraqi Channel 1. He announced a new company that is going to be established and the purpose of it is to back the citizens with small deposits into banks, just like your FDIC in the United States of America. That is really exciting, guys, that they're doing that. They are telling us that they are backing our money and guaranteeing it in our banks. If anything should go wrong with it, we will get our money back. Frank, when did you ever see this? I've been in this 11 years. I've never seen this. When do you ever hear this? How long have we been waiting to read these words? This is the definition of Article 8. This is huge. This is enormous. They keep telling you that it's only a matter of weeks. Remember, nothing is January, February, March. April is suddenly. Right? So, guys, that's the news today. That's the quickest I've ever done it. Just under four minutes. So, how do you like them, Apples? Uh, have a good dinner. Uh, have a good night. What are you having for dinner? Comment down below. Do you like the short format? Please comment down below. I try to keep it brief, guys, because there's not a, a lot left except for the fat lady to sing. Isn't that what Wolverine says? So, guys, I lo hope I'm grateful. I'll see you in the morning early, early, early. Please set your clocks so that it'll be right around 9 a.m. because I got a busy day tomorrow. So, um, I know you all have busy lives too, but you made it. Tomorrow's Friday. So celebrate tonight. Go to sleep as you're going to sleep. Just just visualize all your bills being paid out or all your, your bills being zeroed out or, or the new house you want to buy. What are your dreams and goals and visions? Dust them off and, and live in them every day. Amen. That's how you manifest your prayers. You believe it's already happened. So I hope you will join me live to talk more about manifesting our prayers and how faith is what's bringing this in, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. God bless everybody. Have a good night. Again, comment down below. If you believe the time is now, right, the time is now. Bye.